Hey guys, Tammy here. My bowels had a sweet release. I could feel feel it everywhere. I crap my pants. <laughs> I'm skeleton skinny. Well, skeletons are cool. I mean, like, whatever. Prison. She needs prison. I've been grown. I pay my bills. My bills are paid. I feel like I'm like a professional like, going to work with my boy puppy. High five it. High five it. Go away. Go away, you fat roll. Was that your bones? Yeah. Oh no, I probably have OCD. You mean OBCD. So this is gonna be the first vlog of just me. I am on my way to work. It is 7.30 in the morning. A lot has changed clearly since, uh, you know, everything has happened between um, Dana and I. Destiny and Dana's last video was posted to their channel two years ago on September 6th, 2020. And it seemed like everything was fine between the two of them. But you know, we've, you know, we've been, I mean, we've been dealing with things in our own lives. And then as far as, you know, our outer lives, like, you know, everything with Amber Lynn, like we've been there. Yeah. We've tried to be there as much as we can be through COVID, through everything. We've our governor with. is very strict on everything right now. Like it's been mandatory masks for two months now. Like I said, we've been trying to be there for her as much as we can too it's been which we have gone and seen her a couple times we've been she's extra been also, cautious about yeah it. she's been she very skeptical where she was sick mm -hmm. you know where she was going through everything too we tried not to i mean we talk pretty much every day every other day oh yeah we talk every day i texted at least once a week telling her and begging that i miss them <laughs> and then <laughs> we, everything with i mean we helped her move we did, when she yeah. moved um um, I think we've pretty much covered everything. I'm not getting married. Like okay, we'll cut all that out, but we're still working on working towards like our wedding, like getting married. You know, with our mom's passing, we're not sure if we want to do the like big before wedding, they so. passed. We wanted like a big wedding. No, we've been just trying to make it, trying to survive. Um, the pay isn't that great. Like that's why I told Destiny. I said if it was like if we could make just like two dollars more, like I would never leave that job. Yeah, and so on and so forth. And so on and so forth. <laughs> why, are gonna say, why are you gonna say it like that? Why are you, why are you gonna make funny? Why are you gonna say it like that? <laughs> why are you gonna say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you got lip gloss on. Then, at the beginning of 2022, Dana and Destiny started hinting via their social media accounts that they had broken up. It didn't come as much surprise because the previous year Dana was on her Instagram dedicating this post to Destiny. Baby, I promise even if you can't see it I'm trying for us. I know I've effed up in the past and I continue to eff up daily and I really truly don't deserve you. You deserve someone more patient and less demanding. You deserve someone that doesn't make you feel bad for missing them. You're my person, my other half my everything and I'm sorry I'm terrible at showing it. I'm fat, but big deal. I don't feel bad about it. You never made me feel bad about it. And just because there are some people in the world who want me to feel bad about it, doesn't mean I have to. And in the end, Destiny was hinting that Dana had cheated on her. As soon as Amber learned of the breakup she posted this to her community tab saying, should I slide back in her DMs? Wifey who? I moved back to Florida, which I think most of y'all knew that. 
Um, clearly, I moved back to Florida. I moved in with my grandma for about a month. Then like as soon as I got a job, I was able to move in with my dad. For about three months, I couldn't drive. <laughs> That's another update. Um, December 6th of last year, I broke my ankle. I looked down at the ankle that made that noise and my foot was just like dangling. So I was able to limp my way back into the apartment and I was just terrified. No, I just feel so disconnected. I'm having to step on my foot that has several torn ligaments in my ankle. It's traumatizing. They had to push me in a wheelchair. So it's been like three or four days. I like can't move. Only thing I'm able to do is go to the bathroom and take like these wannabe quick showers. So there was that. I was at work, I was just walking. I stepped just the right way, I guess. And I didn't think I broke it. I got up on it, walked around a little bit. Uh, it started swelling up pretty big and I mean it hurt a little bit to walk on it but it wasn't anything like crazy. I work where I work is it's a doctor's office so I had one of the APRNs look at it because I just wasn't sure and she told me I really just probably needed to get it x-rayed. When they they x-rayed it real quick they were like back in 10 minutes and they said yeah it's a clean break you broke it. I was like really because I've walked on it all day like I did it at work and I stayed at work I didn't think it was that bad because it didn't really hurt it just kind of hurt to walk on it a little bit. I met my now fiance as you guys know her name is Lexis. Dana is also in a new relationship and he and Destiny look oddly familiar, don't you think? We met on Tinder, hee hee ha ha, because you guys blew up my Tinder when I made one. She didn't have any idea about YouTube stuff with me at all, like, and I mean, it's not something I'm just like, hey, I do this, but her and I started dating in March of last year, got engaged on our one year anniversary. I know that seems a little soon, but I don't care. When you know, you know. Me and Dana are not breaking up. Uh, I don't know why anyone would think that. Dana makes me the happiest I've ever been in my life. Um, I love her very much. I don't think we're ever gonna break up. Fingers crossed, we are never breaking up, ever. Like, she's stuck with me, I'm stuck with her. We say it all the time, we're not breaking up. We've been through way, way, way too much. And I mean, between financial issues and just stress really you know a lot of stress can really make or break a relationship and that's that never has happened with us we've never like we don't even argue like and when we do it's because we're both angry you know and it's it's we get like we get petty over stupid stuff towards each other and then we, we tell each other you know that was really petty that was really stupid to really fight about and then we kiss and make up like that's just it's that easy this coming saturday it's thursday this coming saturday i'm going to propose to dana she has absolutely no clue no clue at all I still do visit Kentucky. I went two times to Kentucky and one time to Tennessee last year. I moved here in January, the end of January last year, and I went back to Kentucky in, it was either March or April. I can't really remember. It was like, maybe it was the end of March, beginning of April, something like that. Bills, man. My rent's $1,300. Like, it's kind of hard to just drop everything, which I'm off on the weekend. She works, um, for a big retail pharmacy and she does not get the weekends off. She's the supervisor, so. Ugh, some Dr. Pepper early this morning. Give me a little pip. I don't really know what else to tell you guys right now. Today, I don't have a long day at work. So I was gonna try, since I didn't have a whole lot to do at work today and I'm leaving early, I thought I would try and vlog some, so. So in the end, Dana has lost 100 pounds and is happy with her fourth partner since her breakup with Destiny. And Destiny is happily engaged and is promising us some tea. See you in the next one, Gorals.